Um, I've had some requests to show um, how to make the Just Food for Dogs food that I feed my um, 10 month old miniature schnauzer Ernie. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make the Just Food for Dogs um, beef and russet potato recipe. Okay, so I know this video is cutting off the top part of my body, but I couldn't get everything in frame. So I just wanted to show you guys the ingredients. So we make a half batch um, every week just because the full batch is a lot to make um, in my small kitchen. And a half batch lasts Ernie about five days and he eats roughly two cups of food a day. Um, so the half recipe requires 40 ounces of lean ground beef, 85.15, um, 1.25 ounces of beef liver, 28.5 ounces of white potatoes with skin, 15 ounces sweet potato with skin, 2.5 ounces chopped carrots, 2.5 ounces green bean, 1.25 ounces green peas, and I buy both of those frozen, um, and 1.25 ounces green or red apples, and that needs to be cored with the seeds removed. And um, it's really important to remove the core and the seeds because those are poisonous. Then you also need um, 4.5 tablespoons of safflower oil, half a tablespoon of Just Food for Dogs Omega Plus fish oil, and 4.5 teaspoons of the Just um, Food for Dogs Beef and Russet Potato DIY Nutrient Fund. Um, and I got this at Petco. And I ordered the Omega Plus on Just Food for Dogs website, but I think they have it at Petco too. All right, so all of this needs to be finely chopped and I use my food processor for that. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the cooking process. Get it back in the pot.
All right. probably take it off of the burner because the burner is still a little bit hot. Anyway, so that's what that potato mixture looks like. And I'm going to keep working on the meat. So once the meat is still a little bit pink but is starting to cook through is when you add in the vegetables, which I have right here. So here are all those veggies. down a little because I think it's too high so I'm putting it on six so I'll just mix that all in and you basically just cook it until the veggies are soft um I'm not sure exactly how long that takes I usually just do it by taste since this is all human food um I'll just taste I usually go by the carrots because they're the hardest um of the veggies so I'll just stir it up and then stick a lid on it for a little while and stir it periodically and then taste the carrots. Once the carrots are soft, then this is done. I have made a very big mess. Um, I've got to clean that food processor ASAP because I don't want the liver to dry onto it. And then I've got, <laughs> got to clean that colander. I've got a lot of dishes right in there. Um, I've kind of been rushing because we have dinner plans later, but it's probably better to kind of clean as you go. All right, it's looking just about done, but I am going to try one of the carrots to see if it is soft. Okay. All right, it's still a little crunchy, so I'm gonna keep cooking um, until I feel like the vegetables are soft enough. Where. So the meat is done and the potatoes have been done. So to finish up the process, um, according to the directions anyways, you let all of this cool, then you mix it together and you have to wait, um, you know, until it is cooled. According to the directions, you have to wait until it's cooled before you add in the Just Food for Dogs uh, supplement powder, uh, the safflower oil, and the fish oil. So I am going to let this stuff cool, then mix it together. Okay, so um, it hadn't cooled completely, but I'm going to go ahead and mix the beef with the potatoes. And then I'll stick it in the fridge, and once um, it's completely cooled. I'll add in the rest of the ingredients, but, um, okay. So I left the, um, food mixture in the fridge overnight. And now that it's all cooled, I'm going to go ahead and add the safflower oil, the nutrient blend and the fish oil. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed Ernie his breakfast and in the morning I give him one cup of food and um, this is the half a cup, so. Just one half. And one more. And 
I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it and mix it up so that it's more moist. I just, this is something I just personally do, adding the water to it. The recipe does. Ernie, you ready for breakfast, buddy? Here you go. Enjoy. It's new. It's fresh. Yum. Do you like it, buddy? You're such a good boy. Enjoy your breakfast. Okay, so I'm, it's all mixed up. I might mix it a little more, but mostly. Um, and this is enough food, at least for Ernie, for five days. But the directions say it lasts in the fridge for four. So um, I used to try to stretch it till five, but I think it's fresher if you don't. So I um, like to just do um, two packets of Ernie food um, to freeze. And so it's just a little over two cups of food that I'll put in a bag, a freezer bag. Because if he gets a little over two a day. Um, although, you know, he usually doesn't eat the full amount, so I'm actually just gonna do two full cups. Which is enough. All right. And I'll kind of mush it together, and then I can just take this out of the freezer um, the night before and put it in the fridge so that it's ready in the morning. I could just put this pot right in the fridge and use that, but... 